Hello everybody, welcome to Blitz Pit Losers Bracket Round 4 or something. <laughs> I've got no idea what it is. That is correct. Oh, right off the bat, losing a chorf. Oof. You're a tiny bit ahead, Skuro. <laughs> but, huh? never mind. Um, oh, am, so... I, am I ahead again? Yeah, the, like that's the thing, isn't it? That's the good thing about uh, Chorf. They get Core Mighty, and one Chorf has, has hammered another Chorf. Uh, their teams look pretty similar here, don't they, actually? Crucifer versus Purple Chest. Two of the massive... Obviously, Purple Chest, the massive name on Fumble. Not Probably not as big of a name on Blood Bowl, 3 if, uh, Blood Bowl 2, sorry, if people haven't heard of him on Fumble and that. But he has won Blitz Pit before, and he is, he is absolutely a superstar of Blood Bowl. Um, in general, benching a guard on defense here, that was, was that unintentional? I'm assuming. That uh, no, was, that was the Apo, that was the Apo Dwarf, Jim. That was the Apo Dwarf. That was not, it was not a mistake. He's Apo that Dwarf, obviously. <laughs> Christ. Um, this is early in the morning for me. It's ten past one in the afternoon, but for me, it's the first thing in the morning. So... <laughs> I thought it could have just been him struggling with a Blood Bowl 2 client. See, that was, I was like, ah, oh, look at that. He struggled with a Blood Bowl 2 client. This would never happen on Fumble, but I didn't get to do that. He just literally just cast Jesus Christ. So both got the same team build in terms of players, um, re-rolls and everything. Um, when it comes to skills, we've got one, two, three, four, five guards, a Claw Mighty and an extra guard and a Bok Ray Tackle. Um, Crucifer's gone Claw Mighty and less guard. One, two, three, four, guard. Um, so he can have a block guard. So basically, he is, um, he's got, Christopher has one more block and one less guard. And I, I quite like that, actually. I quite like stacking skills on the bulls, because bulls are really good. And yep. stacking value on your really powerful players is pretty good, generally, isn't it? I mean, building wide is good as well. So, you know, but generally, I think when you can stack, it's quite good on players that cost 130 that are skillless. <laughs> Uh, dog the dog in, or dog to the dog in chat pointing out this is a prelude to a cup match. Uh, I guess that must be for their current uh, CCL playoffs. Yeah. Are they both playing chores in that dog? Yeah, that's the dog. thing. Like Chris, you know, uh, obviously PC has played uh, somewhat on football too and is in the cup, but he hasn't made the same impact I think in CCL as Christopher has, who has obviously been dominant for many a time. So. I guess yeah, the people yeah. watching this stream will know who Pur Purple Chest is for sure. But uh, do I, th I believe Purple Chest did qualify for the last World Cup, though, didn't he? Yeah, he probably did. Yeah, he probably did. that's probably when he got Blood Bowl too. Yeah. Mm. I, I could be wrong in that, uh, but I yeah. think, but I thought he did. I thought he did. Wow, Christopher, uh, he, not he's... with not with chops. Unbelievable. Of course, PC was using dwarves. <laughs> So yeah, Claw Mighty, of course, being much better in Blood Bowl 2 as it will be in Blood Bowl 3, probably, if Blood Bowl 3 happens. So Jim, talk us through this game. Uh, what are both of these coaches hoping to do, uh, you know, to, to advance their chances winning this? And don't just give me the old make two die blocks with Claw and uh, kill people. Well, they're going to make two dice blocks with Claw and hope they kill people. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Buckle up, folks. Gonna be a wild one. I don't like this. I, this is one thing that I've never liked um, by Christopher here, um, and just in like not I'm not saying it's a Christopher thing, but in just in general in Blood Bowl, I don't like it when people on offense with a bash team will put their cage right forward like this. I don't think there's any reason to have the ball carrier one one like file if you like behind the the absolute front line. I think it's kind of needless and I just don't like it. There's just, you know, you're not gaining anything over being a little bit far behind. It's inviting pressure onto you. And now, of course, Purple Chest may not take this and he may not use this opportunity to apply a bunch of pressure. But I really just do not like it in general as a thing to do. Um, even if it's not taken, well, not even advantage of it, even if it's not used against him here or capitalized upon or whatever. Um, I still just don't like it. I never like it, ever. <laughs> yeah, no, I think you've made your point on not liking that. And I, I will actually, uh, I will compliment you on this one, Jim. Uh, that is uh, how to how to screen the ball 
is a thing that uh, I definitely learned watching your stream a bit more because I was always a bit uncreative and kind of always going into that X cage, trying to keep everyone kind of condensed right up in the middle, just like Crucifer's doing here. But I have since learned the value of, yeah, there's no real loss when you're not making a, a fast push down a sideline or something to score quick. And being two squares back against the team, like as long as those bulls can't get around to you, then there's no reason to be up in uh, within striking range of uh, you know your your one of your front linemen getting blitzed and then getting fully based up and guard locked. Yeah, yeah, and obviously, I mean, it would have been really dangerous with the claw, mighty. So maybe yeah. maybe Crucifer was was doing it to bait that, you know, and, mm -hmm. and then hoping to get claw mighty hits off it if it did it. But um, as a rule, I don't like it. Yeah. I, I think what he, I think what Christopher is doing right now is licking his chops, looking at this, uh, this claw mighty bull blitz here. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh, he greets it. <laughs> I'm not super shocked by that by Christopher. I've watched him play a bit, uh, and he's gonna take an opportunity when given, but not rewarded for the greed there. <sighs> oh boy. I would have, I would have greeted it with, with piling on as well, but not without piling on. I wouldn't have dreamed of it without piling on. <laughs> but that's just my opinion. He's won more CCLs than I have by about six more or something. <laughs> he's also played about 12 more CCLs than you, give yes. or take. <laughs> but I mean, he's qualified for them. Like, there were times no, when no, I didn't I, meant, I just meant in CCL, the amount of games he's played is probably about 12 times what you've played. Probably, yeah. Probably. <laughs> Yeah, the Apple is gone, and it is a defenseless guy, and he is strength only. Has got guards. There's definitely payoff to it. Um, and again, that is again the all, the whole, not what I would have done. But who can say if it's right or wrong? <laughs> uh, do you? How do you feel about this push up this left sideline right now, Jim? I mean, well, it's interesting, isn't it? Dwarves, obviously, not so much with it, not so much with having the hobgoblins like they're a bit, and the the bulls are a bit more mobile than normal dwarves, but they still want to push when they push forward when they can. This gives them a bulkhead. It's not easy for them to blitz him. Uh, certainly not with Claw Mighty, and obviously he knows PC wants to blitz with Claw Mighty. So, put by pushing forward there, he pretty much can't get them blitzed. Um, yeah, and so he's going to be able to get quite a hard push down the side. I think that's all right. Yeah, I, I tend to agree. I just, I don't think, uh, I don't think with the way these teams are built, he has any really, really good option to cut back, you know, super, you know, like especially with two, with his claw mighty and one other chorf so far on the left there, cutting back is just going to get him mired at, ha you know, mired in the middle again at at, uh, at midfield um, and I just feel like that's a little bit aggressive yeah I mean uh, that's the thing I think it's not so much a push down as an effort to make purple chests attrition blitz less relevant positionally but, Fair enough. or hope that he would do a positional one rather than an attritional right. one but he did the attrition one anyway because it's PC and he's good <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> or he's rather, he did what I would do. <laughs> he, he gets a second hit out of this too, though. So. Yep. When oh, gets well, it. there you go. Oh, that's one Does... I would have re-rolled. <laughs> Not greed. Ooh. I don't know. That wasn't against the claw. Yeah, and it was last action. You could have taken the. He could, he could yeah. have accepted that both down there. But the thing is, he's not really going to need many rerolls, is he? It's it's already turn four. That's true. For Cruz, that is very true. He's only got four more turns to defend, and he's got two rerolls for those four turns. Crucifer is going to get himself another uh, <laughs> another bull uh, claw hit, which he's taking instantly. Wow, I'm actually surprised because he could have just blocked with the bull, couldn't he, and got better position, but less value. From from the attrition, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. I think he maybe should have blocked with blocked him with a bull and then blitzed the the uh, chalk yeah, blocker. With the he could have caged up. He could have done that cutback that was looking not so good last mm -hmm. turn and just been caged nicely right in the middle of the field. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously and have, the and have purple chest team split. Yeah. I mean, obviously you would rather remove the uh, the bull than the. Uh, Blocker, and you're more likely to 75% knockdown or 55% knockdown. But uh, he he did lose himself a hit, didn't he? Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I agree, Wolfark. Christopher being very aggressive. I mean, he, he generally is pretty aggressive. But, uh, yeah. Interesting. He's just going to have control of this bull uh, for a while now. I would even consider maybe 4-plus dodging him out next turn just to try and regain Oof. that player. Ooh. Oh. And well, PC is shedding dwarves right now. Rerolling that double skull, that double skull, not looking so good. Since he was instantly KO'd. Yep. But you know, purple chest still, despite being two men down, he's still looking good from the controlling the dry perspective, isn't he? Yes, uh, crucify has a bit of a like, there's a bit of a thing here, but this can get squashed pretty easily, and he can still keep again. He's kind of like, uh, what's it called, parallel, isn't he, to the. To the push so i think he's still feeling pretty confident pc right now and he's only one down due to send off yes that's a good point but this one down is a hobgoblin a skillless hobgoblin he is down two guard chaffs but yeah that's true he's only one actual player down and he's coming in with his claw mighty here he will have a follow-up block doesn't need it Oof. now but he but that but that bull's gonna take another hit jim yeah and maybe and and this what and this chalk blocker and his claw might is gonna get hit by uh, yeah Christopher's claw yeah mighty. this could uh this could domino effect on him uh but it, it has worked out so far if he if he if he holds firm during the next turn he he's gonna have a really nice positional advantage yeah did he run out of time there Mm, he might have. Yeah, because I, I, I wouldn't have minded putting people on this hob, on this hobgoblin as well. Yeah, like once he put these two on him, uh, Actually, once he put like, the bull and the hob on the uh, blocker, I wouldn't have minded putting the other two hobs on the other hob. <laughs> Hobbs and uh, Shaw. Somebody should make a somebody should make a blood bowl team called Hobbs and Shaw, shouldn't? They? I actually can't tell if he ran out of time. It looks the timer and the, when I when I scrub back. Went down to four seconds before the turn ended, but it was—it's it, kind of hard to tell because it jumps when you're doing the replay. Yeah, and thanks to Wolfbark, we know that you can run out of time at four seconds. Oh gosh, I forgot—I had forgotten about that. <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous, isn't it? Oh, there the block—the block, the block uh, having an advantage uh, or, or coming into play there for the bull on the hit. Hmm. Uh, I think uh, I think Purple Chest pretty pretty okay with the results of all those hits though. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely taken the more potentially damaging Claw Mighty hits, and while he did take that that Kaz which he's appled, he has taken a but. And you look, Claw Mighty isn't devastating, is it? That's the thing. A lot of yeah. people, a lot of people who say that Claw Pom isn't overpowered, are of the school that. Claw Mighty is really good and ooh, piling ooh, on isn't much has better. Has to make the GFIs. Yeah, to get 2D, I quite like that. Yeah. Um, like, obviously, it's more risky overall to make two 2 plus rolls than to make the one 2 plus roll, but then this gets that bull a little bit more under control and it gets him further forward and it gets the 2D, so more chance of a knockdown than a 1D. So, I quite like the double GFI there. Yeah. And, yeah, you know. It's scary, though. <laughs> yes. Claw Mighty by itself is really, really not not very good at all. Um, it's very, it's very, very dicey. Whereas piling on makes it a lot less dicey. I'll agree to that. I don't have a ton of claw experience. I, don't, I generally don't play any of the teams that have claw access. Um, but just uh, I, I feel the same way about Palm personally. I feel like every Palm. Oh, then finally. Instant, instant apple here. Even on the yep. four, he gets the three. Yep. He does. <gasps> Huge. Uh, well, that was uh, that was waiting. You know, that was exactly what Purple Chess has been waiting for. Just getting that, you know, a, a hit here and there all game, and he finally gets a big removal. Huge. I'm, I'm not going to say that Christopher will be seething after that, but he's got to be a little bit disappointed that he was re-rolling Claw Mighty hits on balls, yeah. <laughs> and then PC yeah. just and gets him a cast back with a Randor hit. <laughs> blockless bull at that yeah and he's still got the gfis to hit with his claw mighty hasn't he i guess he's going to double gfi to hit the claw mighty with his own
He might go for the further forward guard. Oh no, he's going for the his guard to get an extra block. This is a little bit dodgy, honestly. I've got to say, I'm not completely on board with this. It does obviously get him more blocks, which is good. Yep. Um, but it's getting him like two people who are almost behind the ball. I guess they are taking out two people. Whereas yeah, if he'd gone, if he'd gone I mean, and taken is, this, this guy, then um, he would have had two. only option is one. up the left now. Yeah. Oh, and he's coming round a little bit as well. Ooh. Yeah, it does completely shut down the potential switch. Yeah, that's true. Actually, yeah, that's pretty. It's actually pretty good. It was pretty open to a switch if he hadn't done that, actually. Yeah. I mean, I guess fair. he... No, he can't. Yeah, he can't. Yeah, there's no potato on with that bull back there, for certain. Yeah, so yeah. So all he can do is try and stay with his team up the second half. This is going to be some dice to score, I think, by the end of this. Ooh, mm. there's a nice KO, though. <laughs> yeah. Half of PC's chorps are on the bench right now, but none of them in the Kaz box. Yeah, that's that's that is the good thing for him for sure. And just a push from the Claw Mighty. Yeah, that could be that could be really costly. Maybe should have. I uh, couldn't have waited, could he? Because he needed him free, so he could blitz. Yeah. Oh, only a push. Maybe should have oh, rerolled that. This is gonna get. He's gonna get mired in no, over he here have now. To. He still does have a root up. Like, he can get up there yeah, he can and side somewhat cage, scream can. the ball. He might need some GFIs here, but it's yeah. Christopher. He has to make them. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem, though. That, that hub's still being there. This is very, yeah. pretty tricky. And Maybe he'll just really hand off shut, and score. Can't fully shut down that uh, that that uh, break tackle ball. No, maybe just hands off and scores. Hmm. That's almost looking like the best bet now. I think that's what he's got about 10 seconds to decide, Jim. Yeah. Stand up the dude first. And obviously gets claw made. No, he's going to he's going to he's going to protect him there. Is he going to foul here? He almost has to. <laughs> he might just run out of time. Oh dear. He almost has to foul and not get sent off. Mm, this is risky business, Jim. Wow. Well, I mean, this is an easy 2D on the ball, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, yikes. Yeah, I mean, that's all he can do, isn't it? 2D on the ball with blocks, pretty nice. I mean, you could... I don't think you can do anything else. But yeah, obviously, just get a push there. Yep, place. he can just come right through on this side now, rather than having to make the GFS. Oh yeah, break tackle through this way. Yeah, yeah. I still think if he wants it. No, he's not. He's going the long way. Yeah. yeah. I think that's positionally better too. If something goes wrong, oh, he, he <laughs> fails the sure feet. It did make it make him make more GFS though. Yeah, yeah. It may, yeah, it makes the push infinitely better. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 absolutely. Because Christopher would have only had a three plus, but now. I mean, what what the hell is Christopher supposed to do with this? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. The that's the funniest thing, isn't it? Right, like taking KOs isn't that bad when you've got two rolls at them, but then yeah, when you uh, when you success, you've I've lost games before because I've stopped the like you know lost game loss you can lose you can be more likely to lose by stopping the score, can't you? Funny Absolutely, enough. I've been in that position too, where it's just like. I've got four KOs sitting there right now. I can't give up a touchdown because, you know, you just try not to allow people to score on you, and then you, you successfully hold them, you don't flip the score, and then you get no KO rolls back. You're like, what the fuck was the point of yeah. any of this? Yeah, and then you're more likely to get turned over and lose 1-0 than you maybe would have been and to, with with two KO rolls to have not been 1-1. Yeah. One, one. So, yeah, funny funny old game. I don't know if they should have made that or not. It's interesting, I isn't don't it? think he should have. And again, that's easy to say that after he's rolled the one in three, yeah. but yeah. you know, obviously he's waded up and, and thought that it was worth the chance to get the push, or even a pal. Obviously, a pal could have been devastating. Inter very interesting. Yeah, maybe yeah, he thought yeah. he needed that because this is pretty easy. Pretty easy for uh, Crucifer to get out of this now, isn't it? 
and and stall out of it too. Yeah. So I guess he thought he needed. I guess he thought he needed that that guy pushed yeah. at least. Yeah, I think he needed to. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't classic calcium casting. No, that's the thing. Look now, look and see what he's done. I mean, obviously PC thought about it more than uh, more than <laughs> at least I did. <laughs> And uh, does he score? A two turn isn't that easy, is it? Um, no. And I it's hard I mean, to stall again with these bulls around. Yeah, and uh, I mean, there's no chance. There's no realistic chance for uh, purple chest to, to score. So the risk has significantly dropped off. But yeah. uh, as we discussed earlier, do you really want to risk your two KO rolls? Yeah, he's just gonna score. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think that's fine. It is hard to score in two. Chops. <laughs> Hello, Goliath. All right. Well, the KO rolls. Uh, it. <laughs> there you go. The, the fully evidence what we were talking about earlier. Hopefully. Uh, he'll get both of them back, or this is going to be a quick second half. I Ooh. Think. He hasn't got them back yet. Oh, sorry. Am I ahead of you again, Jim? Yep. <laughs> oh, I, I I have all of the... What animations do you have on? I think that's the problem we're running into. I, I, I didn't click on the, uh, you know, this initial kickoff for a bit, and I think that's maybe it. I'm behind. Yeah, okay. I'm like literally, literally behind them. I don't know why I was Alright, well, them. what I'll do is I'll just wait. Tell me once you click through the kickoff. Okay, okay. It was just the initial one because I was doing the intro of the YouTube, wasn't it? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I generally sure, kick sure. through them quickly. But I'm going to be ahead of you until... Ah, so you're going to wait and then... I ah, see. I see. Yeah, so I'll doing. just wait on the kickoff until you get to it. I see what you're doing. Um. So, yeah. yeah I've, got all, I've got all cutscenes turned off, personally. Um, what? I, oh yeah, no, I've got all the cutscenes. I've got like arm arm brakes on. Oh yeah, I'll put that back on. Actually, I don't mind armor brakes on. I was getting I was getting uh, traumatized, waiting on seeing my LOS zombies get their armor broken, so I just <laughs> turned it off. And it it helps a lot with your like mental fortitude. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think it's nice for the stream to have the armor break. Yeah, you no, know, it's way better. I think I like the animations mostly, but like, uh, yeah, just every now and then when you're just sitting there, I'd much rather just have the Red Cross come up <laughs> randomly on a zombie than like, yeah, sitting there and then having to, and then like the cutscene pops up and you're like, oh, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> It's interesting that he's got the uh, the hobs on the wings. I wouldn't have hated the bulls on the wings to make it harder to break through the sideline. Let me know once you've clicked through the. Uh, oh, I clicked through it there. Sorry. Jesus Christ, Jim. <laughs> well, it's better if I'm behind anyway. So. <laughs> I clicked through. I didn't see what it was either. Changing weather. It was uh, changing weather. <laughs> I just auto clicked through without looking. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what? Oh, I guess he fall. He follows to save the square. Okay, I was like, why follow follow it all there? Yeah. Oh, that, that was, sucks. Uh... That sucks to burn the go for it, or the uh, the sure feet. Oh, oh. Let me do that. One. Yeah, but see, if he put the bulls on the sideline, he couldn't have really made that play, could he? I would have. I would have quite yeah. liked bulls on the sideline there. Yeah. 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 Or at least, uh, or at least the the blocker, because he's got a blocker on that sideline. He could have had a blocker on the other sideline. Because if he blitzes the hobby in front, he's not breaking through, is he? So, in those situations, I'm I'm kind of surprised he put the hob behind. Am I massively behind that grade? I'm just gonna restart the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> God, this is a battle and a half with bloody. Eyes in me head and being tired and <laughs> Nah, you'll be fine. You got a you got a three hour nap ahead of you, Jim. Yeah, I'm gonna have to nap for three hours. Ugh. Well, he's only got the two bulls as a threat, hasn't he? At the moment. Yep. 
And bulls, bulls, bulls are a tough threat because all you really got to do is base them up. <laughs> yep. Well, I mean, you got the you got the brave tackle one, but if you can get a if you can get a tackle zone on him, he's not catching the ball. <laughs> yep. Oh no, there he goes. He's now he's got a, uh, a third scoring threat. And to and in and in Blood Bowl twenty twenty, you don't have a throwing threat either because. Uh... Yeah, this is uh, this is the exact situation I talked to you about when we were kind of analyzing this. This is my fear of the future for teams like Undead and and Necro. It's just like you're gonna get there's almost no risk to giving them a two turn now maybe a little bit with wolves but not much of one yeah and another downside to chaos and nurgle and stuff yeah i drink loads of water actually cocky it's just i've got i've got um i'm going through withdrawal withdrawal so it's um i'm all my head's just swimming all the time Jim needs to get his medical marijuana card. That would solve all your problems. I, I guarantee it. <laughs> Got meth mouth. <laughs> I, I don't think you're allowed medicinal. Um, is it not? Um, is, me, is medical weed not legal in the UK? I don't know. I don't think so. I, I don't know. I've never yeah. tried to get any, ever. <laughs> um, down and dirty chuff and chuff. Is this a pro for YouTube? Yeah, apparently not. Um, earlier, I've just realised um, Cocky wrote something. What did he? What did he wrote? Oh, just Saved the push. The There's going to be a shot here for PC. Pretty decent shot. Not much else that can get in there. Huh. Mm. Oh, you choose a favoured of something when you make your chaos team. You choose favoured of undivided core Nurgle slanish or Zinj. That's interesting, isn't it? Sorry, that's random. Also, Wild Animal is now unchanneled fury for Minotaurs. So Minotaurs have got their own Wild Animal and... Uh, uh, well, I mean, at least they don't have Animal Savagery. That would have been... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that just would have been the most auto... Auto disregard player you could imagine. Yeah. All right, a uh, little bit of working to do here, but uh, Purple Chest has a chance. Yeah. There's all sorts of mess going on, but yep, yeah, there's the break tackle. Yeah, he's gonna try. I think he's gonna try and clear this bull. Or sorry, yeah. Yeah. Does he clear the bull? B -b 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 yeah, he's got to clear the ball, hasn't he? Yeah, he's going to have to do it on a 1D, though. Not like well, that. There's the re- Oh, <laughs> no. Well, so much for that. Unfortunate dice, but he had a long pass and a and a, uh, a bull catch ahead of him anyway, so it was very unlikely. Yeah. Whew. <sighs> Basically, nothing on offer would have worked for him there with those next two days, so. No. Maybe he gets one back, and so it's not that bad. gets one out of two back. He's got to feel a little hard done, but not too bad. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, interesting. So it's it's overtime at best for PC now, isn't it? Yeah. Which is interesting. Um, so interesting, in fact, that I'm going to go and have a... Well, a glass of water. Shall I get water rather than tea? Yes, because I don't want tea because it's fucking boiling. Um, <laughs> so just to prove that I drink a lot of water, I'm going to refill my bottle. I have a bottle of water with me all the time, and I'm always drinking out my bottle of water. So I'm going to go and refill my bottle of water. Be right back. All right, you go do that. I'll cover you, and then I'm going to take a shit when you get back. Oh, lovely. <laughs> you dirty sea, sea nut. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't, you know, I, I got, I'm a, I'm a regular kind of guy, you know, 7 a.m. Make my coffee, usually right around when Jim starts playing Blood Bowl at eight. I take my morning shit. It's a, it's a glorious ritual. I'm holding it in over here. All right, so we, you know, PC just looking for attrition, 
and a nice long uh, drive score on turn eight. No surprises there. Uh, well, to score on uh, score on turn fifteen, I guess I mean. <laughs> I don't think we're going to see too many risks here. Um, it is overtime format. They both have three rerolls. They both want to go into overtime with as many as possible. <laughs> Not quite to that stage, cocky. Not quite to that stage. I might actually make it through this game, but overtime, overtime might do me in. Oop, big break coming. Just a stun. That would have been one of those uh one of those uh cheeky removals uh that makes this drive a lot easier. Full blitz in on the other chorf on the wing there. Double skulls can't re-roll that. Cannot re-roll that, unfortunately. Yeah, has to accept it. Bull's armor doesn't break. No real threat on the ball. <laughs> Oh, was it? Oh, yeah, would have been quads. Wow, that's the that's the absolute worst. The greed reroll into into dubs. Uh, Cruz might be. No, nah, he can't afford to foul. He might. He might consider fouling this bull though. What do you think, Wolf Bark? W would you foul this bull right now? I probably wouldn't. But it's kind of tempting to get the uh, break tackle bull off early in the drive with overtime looming. Yeah, it's a, it's it's worth consideration. If you had a DP, it would have been a, an obvious choice, but uh, no DP. I think he might be doing it though. Yeah, because he can blitz. He can blitz this chorf away. Oh, he's low on time. Took a. I think he did a lot of thinking about it. Now he's going to base up. Oh, no, he's blitzing the claw. Smart blitz on the claw there. Nope, no, no foul coming on this, uh, on this bull. He's just going to control it, keep it inside of those uh, TZs there. And then he's going to put some, uh, some big pressure in. With his other bull. Both bulls. Both bulls making a big charge. Uh, and now, uh, Null Brain Breaker, the Hobgoblin Ball Carrier, is uh, going to be under some serious pressure. Can't even get back to, uh, to even with that deepest bull threat. But it's the other one. It's that break tackle bull. That's the real threat right now. PC knows that he's going to go after him. Yeah. Well, I had, a, I had a nice stagger about in a wee there, so <laughs> Well, well, the uh, the chorfs have been staggering about a little bit too, Jim. You missed uh, the bull blitz by PC on his first turn of the drive, pretty early into his movement. Dub skulled. He didn't uh, he didn't re-roll it wisely, but it turned out to be uh, double ones on the armor, so he would have quadded. Oh. And now he's in all sorts of trouble right now. Uh, a lot of pressure coming in from those bulls. Yeah, that's the problem if you don't re-roll it, isn't it? Yes, you've maintaining yep. kick equity, but you also yep. have your match equity, don't you? <laughs> yeah, all sorts of equity being thrown around here. He is going to be able to contain this bull and get a 2D on it, but the ball is not going to be uh, not going to be super safe. He can maybe 
Where does he go with this? I, I gotta assume he tries to break left here. Oh, or he could just bobble the pickup. Has to re-roll mm. that. Yeah, see, so now he's re-rolling a 3-plus when he could have re-rolled yeah. a 1 in 36, couldn't he? Yeah, but we were proven by the dice that he would have quad it, so uh, instantly you're wrong on that decision, Jim. Yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, there are no dice. Yeah, there are no dice. I, I, I've never really understood that sentiment, personally, Jim. Well, it's just saying, you know, don't let the dice affect what you think, isn't it? I, I, I guess, but also every single good Blood Bowl coach out there understands the odds of dice rolling and dictates all of their actions based on them. Yeah, but it's just a, <laughs> it's just a, it's just a snappy thing for yeah, people who don't. Yeah, it's a snappy thing to say so you sound smarter than other people when really yeah, it's maybe. just meaningless. It's meaningless rhetoric. <laughs> so if somebody says, oh, well, it was the right play because he, he would have rolled doubles, he would have rolled quad skulls, you can say there are no dice. <laughs> Yet again, the claw mighty cracking armor doing no removal. <laughs> well, Christopher made plenty of removals with the claw mighty, didn't he? Like, he did get the, he did make a Kaz and two KOs. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. There was a Kaz. I forgot there was a Kaz in the first yeah. half. Got, got the Apple out. Did do all right. So he's not overcommitting here. Some people would go, would want to base the ball yep. there, wouldn't they? Like a lunatic. Yeah. And um, Christopher not going for that. He's basing the, uh, the the stun character to keep him down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm not going to lie. I, I would have strongly considered the four plus dodge with that bull that just threw the block to, to make my blitz because that's the kind of player I am. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh but 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 doing that and failing would have would have basically let PC off the hook. That's the uh, thing. In the yeah. situation he's in. Yeah, that's the thing. So he's kind of playing it safe, isn't he getting the uh But but PC can 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 almost get this ball completely safe right in the middle of the field here. Yeah. Almost. Yeah, he's not holding much with that guy, is he? So Yeah. PC might do a break tackle blitz or something here just to try and get people back. I wouldn't hate mm. that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I wouldn't hate that route. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, I understand. I, I understand the sentiment, Flicky. It's just like. It's also kind of meaningless rhetoric to me. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's a fun catchphrase, if nothing else, but... Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't think... See, that's the thing. Yeah. That's, the, that's the thing. Catchphrases and stuff like that work, don't they? So yeah, it. It's one of those things that like sounds pretty, pretty uh, conceptually wise and intelligent until you ask it to hold any water whatsoever, and then it just doesn't <laughs> actually make any sense. <laughs> It's like it's like watching uh, Ben Shapiro's uh, uh, vodcast. Oh God, who would do that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds smart because he talks really fast and is very confident in himself. But really, you understand he's mostly just filled with lies and uh, and, 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 and and straw men. <laughs> mm. Bit like a bit like fucking Russell Brand, who just. Uses long yeah. words and yeah, but at least Russell Brand is just kind of like ridiculous and entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone should ever, ever, ever. I don't even know where he stands on the side of things, although I can kind of assume. And I, I, I had forgotten that he had like a semi-serious political, not political, but whatever his things are. But uh, yeah. I just, all I can hear is uh, Russell Brand in that movie, uh, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, which I adore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no matter what he does, all I can think of is him singing Inside of You. Uh, well, this is the thing. Yeah, the thing with Russell Brand is dummies are like, oh my gosh, he's so smart. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. he's used yeah, some long true. words that they don't understand. <laughs> If you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna pull the oh my god he's so smart on a uh, on a heartthrob uh, stoner uh, actor, you do it with James Franco because that dude is legitimately very fucking intelligent <laughs> <laughs> and very well educated and doesn't. But he's also just like a complete 
burn out. <laughs> <laughs> he's a he's kind of a personal hero of mine, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> An intellectual elite and also puppet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I thought you would, Calcium. <laughs> I don't mean that in a bad way. Just, I think Jim just called you an idiot. Calcium. I didn't mean I didn't mean in the way of the people who were like, "Oh my God, he's so smart," but he's very, he's very, uh, you know, Calcium's very left leaning, isn't he? And so is uh, so is Russell Brand. As he sits in his million dollar house. <laughs> <laughs> bit like bit like the old uh bit like the old Imagine mo movie you know, video music video. <laughs> Sit, imagine no possessions with his uh, <laughs> multi million pound house and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dolph Lundgren does have a degree in chemical engineering. However, I know an engineer in real life and he's thick as two short planks. Yeah, engineer engineers are tough, man. I used to work with a bunch of uh uh, robotics engineers, they're all mechanical engineers, and they're all at MIT, which is like right down the road from me. And they were brilliant at mechanical engineering. But I also watched one of those dudes fuck up making Easy Mac once. <laughs> <laughs> he tried microwaving it and almost set the building on fire. Jesus. Yeah, no, Dolph Hunter does seem smart, though. I've, 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 I've watched his TED the talk. Bit. There you hmm? go. That's a rarity. I watched his TED talk and and I really did like I really did like him and he did seem very smart. Yes, <laughs> not by using long words like uh, Russell Brand, just by actually seeming really smart. <laughs> <laughs> don't um don't use that word, please, Satterfield. Hello, I've got I've got to time you off for a second, Satterfield. Uh, yeah. We are under new obligations to YouTube's uh, community standards not to use "cannot" as a word. <laughs> yeah. As, as as intended, I should say. Yeah, C nut is now no longer allowed. <laughs> C nut is allowed. C nut is allowed. Yeah, but the word that's a bit like C nut is not allowed. I don't know, but I still don't want people to use it so that I don't. <laughs> Basically, basically, if other people don't, there's less chance of me doing it by mistake. <laughs> oh god, what's going on here? This is looking pretty ropey for PC, is it? So this is pretty yeah, good. PC is completely bogged down right now. Yeah, you've got to say it's pretty, pretty nice and professional from Christopher. Maybe it's through the years of playing against people who aren't very good. Um, and getting burned, you know, like uh, the kind of thing of, you know, if you were saying playing ducky and you had that chance, maybe you go for the four plus dodge uh, to hit the ball all the way back then. But if you're playing yeah. a random CCL dude, like Crucifer has experience like no other are playing, then you yeah. definitely want to learn how to, you know, control it and, and play it super safe as he has done. And it's been, yeah. been pretty great from Crucifer. Obviously, he still works against good players as well a lot of the time. Yeah. Yeah, well, it works almost better against good players in that case because, you know, any good player, if you, you know, <laughs> even though there are no dice, if you put <laughs> dice in your hands on a, on a play like I was calling that four-plus dodge to hit the ball and that doesn't work out, none of these none of these future problems for PC are currently playing out. Yeah. So, you know, it's just all, it's, you know, it, it's all, oh, oh, gosh. Ooh. Well, Cruz does get one of his own dubs. Not mm. quite as impactful. That I mean, that double skull non reroll earlier just just really, really, really hamstrung this drive. But again, he could not have he couldn't have saved it in this particular case yeah. with a reroll. Um, even though <laughs> looking at where we're at now, he should have rerolled it, but it wouldn't have worked out for him. <laughs> there are no dice, nice, so, so that doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's all right, Tavi. Overs is nothing, nothing bad on you. Just, uh, just, I've, I've just, you know, I just thought it was kind of funny. 
<laughs> Tony. <laughs> um, Tony plays poorly. He's the John Cena of, <laughs> of yeah, JFW. John Cena of... Uh... Yeah, I can, yeah, so I feel, but I didn't think of it until I'd started streaming. <laughs> and then, oh, God, and then it takes effort, doesn't it? Is he going to eat the dub skulls? No. So PC's out of re-rolls. He's learned his lesson. Oh, this is rough now, isn't it? PC's out of re-rolls. He's got yeah. two turns left to make it to overtime versus Crucifer with two. This is, he's got to get something happening magical now. Was he just blitz with this uh, bull and, yeah, clears the path, I assume. Yep, that's yeah. exactly what he's going to do. But he, he still has to contend with a break tackle bull right there that is unmarked. Yeah. It's looking real I guess now. he can kind of screen, though. Yeah, he can kind of screen. I think yeah. it's going to take some... Uh, oh, what's going on here? Yeah, yeah, that's right. And he can tag the, he can tag the break tackler. Oh, he's got another free chorf down here. Yeah. I, didn't, I, I missed the free chorf. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he can, t he can tag him. And then he can bring yep. this chaw around. Yeah, he can bring him around. Yep, yep. Not bad. <laughs> and uh, accidentally might have a really nice stall. There was a riot on the kickoff. That has helped him out a little bit. Yeah. And he can, he can break tackle and run around, can't he, to uh, get, the, yeah. get this guy to here. Wow, nice little breakaway there. Uh, it seemed like the only play on offer. But uh, oh. it, it has. <laughs> he's used his sure feet before he got to his desired square. Yep. He's not going to take that risk. No. Oh, but nice dodge. Real nice dodge there. Helps him out a lot. Yeah. Um, look at this. Yeah, I think this is uh, this has really turned it around for him. And we're going to have a. We, we might have a very exciting uh, OT on offer here. Yeah, I was thinking as well, honestly, last turn, I know it's easy to say now. I was thinking he, he got those three dwarves to block him, and I thought he left that a little bit open. And, uh, yeah, it looks like it is a little bit open. Flicky, what are your feelings on Liverpool fans? I can't actually attest to being a Liverpool fan, but they're owned by the same uh, ownership that owns the Boston Red Sox, so they're the de facto Boston team, so... Uh, while while Newcastle was my long-standing premier team, uh, I've decided to move on because, I mean, it, look around, <laughs> and I, I, I've, I've decided that maybe Liverpool will be the team to uh, bandwagon onto. Oh, nice. I was a I was a Newcastle fan because I liked drinking Newcastle in college, nice. uh, and uh, I was really into Michael Owen for like the one and like just the one year. That he played for Newcastle, I assumed he was this like long-standing vet of the team, <laughs> which, as I've since learned, is kind of hilarious in a lot of ways. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I always thought that was his team because I—that's when I discovered where he played for at all. <laughs> yeah, it's quite different to American sports, isn't it? Where some, where somebody will somebody will draft somebody, and that's the that's the whole career. A lot of the time, isn't it? A lot of the time in American sports. They'll spend the majority of their career with one team, whereas football yeah. is very yeah, transient. Yeah, like Tom Brady as as retiring uh, after a lifetime of being the greatest of all time as the New England <laughs> as a New England Patriots quarterback. Yeah, and I uh, really thought he had more seasons in him, but I guess uh, I guess not. <laughs> no, I mean, there's no need to be like that. I mean, Peyton Manning was the same, right? Wasn't he? You know, once he once he drops off. We'll go somewhere else for a few years and then retire. It's the same kind of thing, isn't it? Are you implying that Tom Brady has dropped off, Jim? <laughs> He's retired, mate. Never mind, I'll dropped off. Leave. I will quit the JFW. <laughs> I, will, I will fucking murder you. <laughs> it's the only. It's the only card I have to play, Jim. <laughs> I will uh, fucking I murder you if you diss Tom Brady. <laughs> Up. Yeah, well, you know what? No one is rooting for uh, 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 safe decisions on behalf of the health and safety of the NFL players uh, in canceling the season, uh, as I am. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. There could be no better option than sports getting canceled this year. <laughs> Oh, God, this is horrible. I, I quite yeah. fancied the blitz or the dodge with the uh, break tackle bull and try to get the ball to him somehow. I guess he's got both bulls in scoring range. 
but it, this is really rough, isn't it? And yeah, that was a bit greedy by I agree that was greedy by uh, Christopher last turn pulling the pulling the chalk the hob away for the extra two D. Yeah. Maybe shouldn't have done that against somebody of PC's quality, but um, he's recovered nicely, hasn't he? And it's still pretty horrible for PC. Uh, how does how does PC get out of this and get forward here? He's got to get into scoring position. Yeah, well, he's, he's got the Bulls in scoring position, oh, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's got the Bulls in scoring position. But... And that's about it. I don't know what he's going to do. Yeah, 1D. Well, he can just 1D skulls instead. Yeah, yeah 1D was pretty much all he had there, wasn't it? Yeah. One way or the other. I think, I think that could be just about it for PC's chances. Barring yep. a miracle here. Yep, this is looking pretty bad. Pretty bad. Uh, not that many. Actually, not that many, Yancy. Um... And yeah, Kelsey, I might totally agree. I'm, I'm just putting on. I'm just putting on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm actually very, I'm actually very excited for Cam Newton in New England. It would be very interesting to see what Bill Belichick does with a quarterback with an entirely different skill set than Tom Brady's. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. And I personally really like Cam Newton. Yeah, Mostly I do because well. it makes all the racist Boston fans really upset that he's going to be the quarterback. <laughs> like, really upset. The Boston Townie sports fans are super racist. Wow. Ooh, going for a 1D before the potential pickup. Yeah, I guess that's the thing, Tony. That's the one downside. If he gets hurt, he can't do anything about it. But he seems fired up, so we'll see. Cam. <laughs> I do like Cam Newton. All right, well, we are in miracle territory here. I'm going to go with a uh, one and nine fail. Or not a one and nine because he's not going to re roll it, but a pickup fail. Does he try to pick up? The... No, he doesn't. You're right. Very smart. Very smart, Crucifer. Mm. Um, yeah, so that's the we're... thing. PC and like, yes, okay, it would have been quad skulls, but that's the thing. He never recovered from that double skull that he yeah. didn't re roll, did no, he? Never. That's the thing. So he's got a 1D, a GFI 1D blitz to clear the ball, then a dodge out pass to the break tackle, and then uh, glory, Jim. Yeah, it's not looking good. You got is anything it? better? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> he can't. He can't risk scattering the ball either, because uh, his only two guys to retrieve it. Oh, Jesus! Wow. <laughs> so much for that. Uh, congratulations, Crucifer, on advancing. Commiserations, Purple Chest. Yeah, honestly, that might have literally been his best chance. Was going for the scatter and hoping for the one in, in the hoping for into the crowd and the one in three going the right way. It was that desperate that it was uh, that going for the scatter and hoping for the one in eight <laughs> throwing the, the way you want yeah. was maybe the best chance he had. It was really desperate that turn. Um, anyway, another. Blitz pit game in the books. This has been your JFW announced team covering it. My name is Gorilla Metso. Thank you so much for having me as always, Jim. We will be back in a couple hours after a break for the final few games. Cannot wait. I will see you then. Yes, thank you very much, Gorilla Metso. Thanks everyone for watching and uh, obviously congratulations to Crucifer. Commiserations to Purple Chest. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.